All right, what's happening, people? Episode four of the Chef Nunu Show. Today we got special guest Junior Junior down here in Baton Rouge. The boot, I guess, is what we call it. Visiting him, had to tear it up for the weekend. Visited Nola, all up and down Baton Rouge, saying what's up. <laughs> So what's good? Not much, bro. Just chilling, honestly. Like it, it's, it's, I told you, it's crazy out here. You know, it's like get your own thing going on. You know, it's like you go out, you have a good time, you just come back, you just fuck it up all the time, every time. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You got some good food though. I know food's pretty fire. Let's see, we hit up the. Shoot, we got the little leftover from Cafe Du Monde. Uh -huh. First time having beignets, real beignets. Pretty fire. Loved it. Coffee was fire. Shoot, we hit up uh, Parkway. Little, Parkway to get the original Po' Boys. Ugh. Fire again. Had that uh, mixed one with like the half roast beef, half the shrimp. Mm -hmm. Pretty fire. Yeah. The fried pickles were going crazy. Hey, next time if you get the fried pickles, throw the fried pickles inside of it. We started coming up with that. We should have done that. We, we didn't think about it until after the fact. I'll smash them on those pickles like they're nothing. <laughs> like they're good. They're good. We had to hit that. Shoot. And then we're up in Frenchman Street. That was a whole nother crew. <laughs> what, what a Junior. What a night. Junior. Let him know, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> let him know, Junior. Yeah, I, was, I, I don't even know. He was like, y'all want me to fuck with some country music? And I was like, play that car, Brooks. <laughs> Let him know, how, about, how about if I play some country music and mix it with some blues? Oh, how about that shit? Tell him, dude. Some God Brooks. Yes, sir. Country music. Some of the boy in country hat. Tell him little something. Yo, check this shit out. Oh, you can check this shit out. Hold on. Mike Stroh plays. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. What you got? Take shots and beer, man. Straight Mexicans, Louisiana. No, it's a trip how they got like the live bands and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> they just be like chill a little bit. Yeah, I like it. That was the whole vibe. That one dude was going. Like, I was in the middle, bro. I was like, no, let me. I'm telling you, the they should have gave you the mic. Yeah, I would have stole the show. Bro. They should have like, gave you the, the bitch. Oh. Oh man, real talk, Sicko Rico. So on top of that, you a freaking DJ, right? Yeah. College Town DJ. College Baton Town, the Baton Rouge DJ. DJing it on the free time. How's Try. that? How you like that? It's cool, bro. It's real cool. They pay me good. It's free like time. 63 an hour. On top of that, they give me a free bar time. I'm like, Fuck. Free chicken wings, too. Anything I want. Some gator. Shit. Free Snapchat. <laughs> free Snapchat. Free numbers. <laughs> Getting me a lot of good people, bro. It's like, it's good. I, I see your story sometimes. You look a little corny at weddings and stuff. Like, yeah, at the weddings, I mean, it's, it's not my type of show, you know. Like, it makes like, my heart like, feel. It, 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 it kind of breaks my heart, you know. Like, <laughs> I, I play a lot of different music. Like, I mix like more like West Coast type stuff, and then I go to these weddings, and like they're cool weddings, you know. But you got like the fucking like the whole bridal party, like in boots <laughs> and cowboy hats and shit, and they're, like. I mean, I fuck with country music. Like, I'll put some country music on. Like, I even got my own little country playlist. That's it, dude. It's just like, you know, you play some throwbacks and, like, you got, like, the old people out there. They're like, jamming. They try to pull you out there. Jamming, bro. I'll play some, like, fucking um, Louis Armstrong. Man. Louis Armstrong. And, like, bah, 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 bah. and the people would just be like. <laughs> but once everybody's drunk, bro, that's when I start throwing in, like, that, like, like. Some like throw that ass, you know. <laughs> the old grannies, yeah. the grannies, you throwing it back. Oh, trust me, bro. Like, I, one time I, I went to a, a wedding, <laughs> bro. Like, they're paying me twenty bucks just to uh, fucking play timber. I played that shit like maybe like ten times <laughs> in a row, and they were going crazy to it. They were like, another one, another one, another one, timber, timber, and like I was just like, timber again. And, like, my, my fucking computer malfunctioned, like it stopped playing the music like midway. Yeah. I was like, oh. 
shit, oh shit. And they thought like I was doing it on purpose. So I was like playing it off. And they're like, come on, play another timber, play another timber. <laughs> and I was like trying to get it working. And then I hear, bam, 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 And everybody was like fucking going crazy. And I was like, damn, bro, it was like a, like a frat, like back in like 2016. Like they're old as fuck, dude. I was like, damn. What's some of your favorite times, like stories you got from at like the local ones, whether they're your like friends and whatever. Oh, dude. Well, what be happening there when you're DJing? Shit, I DJ at the ramp, dude. It was like my first big gig. <laughs> and I was going crazy. You're all nervous and, at first? No, I wasn't nervous. You know, I was like, I had my manager there next to me. <laughs> and he was like, so like, it was like supposed to be like a, uh, like I'm shadowing, yeah. like see how it is. And this dude, like, I brought a, a fucking a Tennessee whiskey, like the, uh, like the whiskey one. Yeah. Right? It was, uh, it was Jack Daniels, but it was like a Tennessee one, so it doesn't taste like whiskey, you know? And I brought the whole bottle, and he's just smashing this shit. Like, he's DJing and smashing Your manager. It. Yeah, he's, he's, like, fucking... Like, I, I DJed with him, like, maybe two, three times, and, like, before that, he went, oh, bro, you see that chick over there? This dude's old. He's, like, almost 30. He's like, you see that chick over there? And I'm like, yeah, I see her. He's like, go get her number. And I'm like, I'm supposed to be working right now. He's like, don't even worry about it. I'll DJ the whole time. And I'm like, I right, bet. But that night, he, like, uh... He'd be smoking like cigarettes and stuff like that. So he'd be smoke like, breaks. Yeah, you like, oh, I'm gonna go take a smoke break and like, yeah, like, I trust you with the turntables, man. I know you're good at this. You know, like, you're like real surgical with this shit. So he just left him with <laughs> the surgical. turntables, and you just see this dude like he went from taking a smoke break to being in the crowd with everybody. He's just like, like he forgot he was working, and I'm just like up there, and I'm like, oh, that's my manager right there. Like, yeah, we're going crazy. But it was cool, dude. Like that night was so crazy because I met a lot of cool people, dude. And it's like, I met this, like, uh, I call her Riley Reed because I mean, her, <laughs> her, her, her back had like a Riley Reed tattoo. <laughs> and it was funny, bro, because like, like, it was the funniest thing ever, bro. Like, I, I seen her talking to the security guard and I was like, oh, damn, like, Riley Reed's taking me. <laughs> Riley Reed. And so I went up to him and I was like, hey, bro, I see you, bro. You talking to little Riley Reed right there. He was like, oh, no, nah, man. She was telling me to tell you, like, if, if I knew you. And I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, oh, just tell the DJ, like, he can get it whenever he wants. And I was like, what? I was like, no <laughs> the DJ? way. Which yeah, DJ, the 30 year old or you? Me. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. And like, I'm, I'm listening to his conversation. I look in the corner, she's over there, like, like looking at me. And the funniest thing, bro, is she brought a date with her. Oh. So I was like, I was like, damn. And she really ditched her date. And uh, people were getting on the stage. And like, it was really funny, bro, because I guess in that sorority, like there was this one girl, I tried to talk to her at, at a different bar, like maybe three weeks before that. And we were like, oh, talking, got her a drink, bro. And she's like, oh yeah. She's like, oh yeah, we want to go home with you guys. Like we want to go party with you guys. And I was like, oh, say less, you know, <laughs> I got in the bag. And she was like, oh no, uh, we got to go find our friend. Our friend's at the other bar. And she straight up lied to me, bro. Like the whole night, she was just walking around with her friend. I was like, all right, say less. I see how it is. Like, <laughs> but I, as you know, you clearly you don't, you you don't fuck with me. Yeah. And I was like, I, when I had that big ass gig, I was on the stage, and she tried to get up on the stage, and like, like, the, like the fucking. Um, she, was, she was cloud chasing. She was like, yeah, she was cloud chasing. The security guard was like, oh no, you can't be up here. You can't be up here. Get <laughs> off the stage. And she's like, no, no, I know him. I know him. Like we're friends. And he was like, you know her. I looked at her. And I was like. Get the fuck off the stage. I'm like, get out of here. Who the fuck is this guy? I was like, I was like, get out of here. I was like, no, nah, I don't know her. And he was like, all right, you got to go. She's like, are you serious? And I was like, I don't know you. Like, three weeks ago, I was talking to you. You want to act like I'm nobody. But now when I'm on the stage, apparently I got clout. And then I made out with the sorority president, dude. It was, hey, it you, was can't you, you can't expose yourself on here, bro. You got a disclosure statement. It's okay. I'm a changed man now. You know, it's different now. But it was just going crazy, dude. Like, it was funny because I was talking to the sorority president right here. She's like, play this song, play this song. And I was like, oh, I got you, I got yeah. you. And she's talking to me. And then, like, they started fighting, bro. <laughs> Her, there was a girl in an incredible suit. And they were, like, they were fighting about it. They're like, you got a Snapchat? And they're like, ugh, give me your Snapchat. And I was like, hey, everybody can have my Snapchat. <laughs> At a point in time, I threw my phone in the crowd. And they were all just passing hey, it around. And you had to know with the USS PB? Hey, so tell hey, first of all, what what is the USS PB? <laughs> what's, what's the USS PB? First, All right, so PG-13 version. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, just where it originated from. So uh, I went to uh, Boston to go visit Chef Nudu, <laughs> and we're out there, you know, and like it's just like the harbor, you know, there's a bunch of ships, and uh, I was just messing around, and I was pretty drunk, and I was like, 
You know what, man? Just hop on the intercom. We're like, oh, this is the mission we're going over here. This is the, the USS PD. And uh, we're about to dock in about 15 minutes, so you better get the coach right. And it, it, we were just, I don't know, I was just going crazy. But what, is, what does the USS PD stand for? Like, So originally, it, it, I made the name for my car. Right. Okay. And it's only because, like, every time I'm in my car, right, <laughs> it's just like, it, it's, it's just an attractor, you know? Like, people are like, oh my God, like, you must be somebody, you know? Because USS PB, you know, like, it's like the United States ship, but then PB is where it comes in. People are like, oh, it's peanut butter, you know? It's like, you oh, peanut, peanut butter and butter? jelly? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, no, <laughs> I, get, I got that peanut butter and you give me the jelly. He's like, oh, my peanut butter, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's funny, but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it, it, so what the fuck does PB mean? It's the Putang blower, bro. It was like Putang? <laughs> Putang or like cat blower? It's the uh, no, I'll tell you right <laughs> the, the, the it's the pussy the pussy cat blower. It's the pussy blower, <laughs> huh? It's my man Zeus right here. Yeah, he's not attacked by. Nah, I hate that cat. He's the attack by. He, he got the little butt. You got Nah, he need deep oh, Look at that. No, oh, oh, oh. oh, I, I can't mess with that cat. Huh? Huh, Zeus? Look, if you gotta just kind of like manhandle him, like he's like a little baby sometimes. You know? Oh, <laughs> hey, put him away, bro. Come on, come on. But yeah. Hey, so hop on, hop on the intercom. Mm. Let me hear the the exotic voice though. Like what kind of exotic you want? <laughs> like the step bro. Oh, dude, no, we, we gotta get a little bro out here for that one. No, no, hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> With the er er. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. You, yeah. like, you hop on it, he's like. Welcome to the US <laughs> PB. This is uh, Chef Noodle and uh, Mr. Ricardo Sick and Rico on the beat. Uh, uh, we are about to be talking in about 15 minutes. Please have your people ready and I'm going to out. Uh, uh. Like, it's just funny, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> so, what's up with your car? Oh, Tell man. us about that. So, little, little do we know, too, over here, president of AR Rides. Tell yeah. me a little something about AR. So, AR rides, man. We we started that from scratch. Yeah. Literally, it was just me and you. Like two years ago, huh? Nah, for real, bro. It was like when COVID first started mm -hmm. in, we started this club. And I was just like, man, I don't even know how to get out there. But I'm not going to lie. I got some good networking skills. Like, I don't know how you learned this. Probably from our pops, but literally, biggest networkers I know, like, they could talk to anybody off the street, make friends with anyone. And it's crazy because it's like, Junior, how the fuck you, how the fuck you meet that guy? Oh, I was uh, at Jack in the Box one day in the drive through and he kind of just drove by, and I was like, oh, oh, shit, hey, that's a sick car, dude. And we just started talking, and it turns out it's my fucking third cousin, and, <laughs> <laughs> and next thing you know, he's freaking texting this guy, talking about that, but... Yeah, networking skills crazy, bro. That's I would say like guy. like when I'm when I'm networking messages and stuff like that, like if, since he has the account too, because we both post yeah. on it, it the, the no. notifications get girthy. Bro, like. that's that shit's ridiculous. I literally because I'm an hour ahead of you and I yeah. freaking well over there. I, I go to bed you're three hours ahead. Of I, you, yeah, bro. I go to bed early, so like I will wake up in the morning and have like twenty notifications. Like what the who's blowing this up? And it's just a bunch of his little your little tweaker friends, bro. Yeah. I don't even know where you find these people, but it's like, damn, who who is this guy talking to? Yeah, we just, we just started it between yeah. three people, but now the only yeah. two of us made it in. Yeah. No, is it? Spanky's always welcome, bro. He just no, he yeah, he's still part of us, but uh, I think yeah. I, he's like behind the scenes. Like I feel like once like we're all kind of back in California, he pop out. Yeah, you know? yeah, because usually that's how it is. Uh, we just pop out when yeah. I'm there, yeah. but uh, we got about like maybe fifty cars over yeah. there. So I came over here. We got like. A little crew running over here in Baton Rouge, a bunch of Tacomas, a couple successful like meets and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I would say like we we've been popping. Like our first meet that we do over there is maybe like twenty five cars. Not a lot yeah. of people came out. The second meet we had like Helgado out there. We had a bunch of people, and then by our third meet when it started getting popping, popping, we got shut down like three times, dude. Mm -hmm. The cops they already knew we were there, but I mean, I'd be promoting it and stuff like that. Yeah, it works out, man. That's just cool. I'm ready to see where that it goes, but like you said, it's a matter of just like dodging, getting spots and stuff. But I'm yeah. trying to have it to where it's like we have we host these meets like well, that's you know thing. at like a kind of like a private location, like 
That's we like know we the do people. have it out of a private location. But they cannot mess with us. I'm trying to have like Chef Noonan on that bitch, just like slinging, slinging meats and stuff, slinging like, tacos know, and everything, slinging right. tacos, slinging whatever's on the menu of the day. Pull up in the truck, got like, my hey, little, little barbecue in the back. You want a rib? Yeah, it was you want a taco? Room. Oh, you want a dog? Oh, you know, they'll eat that. And I got they'll eat it up. So we got that. That's the next step. I feel it. We gotta make our own little tent. We already got kind of merch going for like the stickers and all that stuff. So that's coming up next for sure. We got hats, shirts, yeah. hats, shirts, all custom made. So that's cool right there. And when I tell you it's custom made, it's not just like, oh yeah, hey bro, like, like <laughs> let me send it to this company real quick, custom make it. No, like, like custom tweaker. My made. boy right here, he, he be he be slinging I, I, it, tweaking a little though. It ain't tweaking though. Hey, I don't know. He be just... on the airbrush. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tweak a little. Sorry. I be tweaking though, bro. My girl be complaining to me, man. And she, I, I'll admit it too. I'll get a little. Our, you know, our little tweaker phases. We'll be like. Well, we're all stuck on something. We'll be tweaking. Like, nah, your, I, your roommates know too. They'll I'll be, be like, tweaking hey, in the Rico's, car. They walk Rico's outside like, on "What you doing today?" And I'm like, "Well, shit, I got this little <laughs> bolt fucking hanging on. I'm trying to build it up." Like, everybody's just driving by and you're in the damn. Like, oh, for real, bro. Because I mean, it's like, okay, yeah. The, the reason why they stare at me <laughs> is not because I'm cute or anything. It's because like, <laughs> they drive by and I'm over there. This dude in like boxers, like boxer shorts, like, like some little, like you know, like like. Basketball shorts and a white beard just laying on the floor, just like <laughs> doing something with the car, you know. And it's just like, I don't know. Like the other day when I was painting my wheels, like people were just dropping by, like just looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, yeah, you ever seen a Mexican in Baton Rouge? Like, yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> hey, funny thing is, though, I feel like since I've been out here, I like talking on my little freaking. My little, no little Baton Rouge accent. Oh. Hey, what's up? 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 Yeah, there's a lot of Junior. you. You get a lot of oh, accents out here. There's there's different accents though. And then you kind of it's it's good though because you could kind of start to like mumble that shit and they still understand. You feel? Me? Yeah, but there's like there's a heavy southern accent. Yeah, and then there's like the was with the was jam. Yeah, the was jam. Yeah, the, 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 the <laughs> Come on, son. Yeah. There's like and then there's like a ghetto slang. Like say say hey say. Say what? Like you're like what? What you what, what you want me to say? Like you said say five times in one word like. But uh, you, you got, uh, I got this little, uh, uh, it's like a, um, <laughs> it's a little impersonation of the, the, the coach of Louisiana go, State University. Go ahead. Oh, Coach O? Yeah, Coach O, bro. <laughs> it's just the way he looks, bro. It's just, you know what go he ahead. sounds Let's like. Go ahead, the Coach O. Uh, blah, blah, <laughs> go Tigers. <laughs> That's literally, he blah, 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 Go Tigers. <laughs> That's it. Hey, he had to retire and get his speech back. But nah, dude, I, I bang with Baton Rouge, I bang with Nola, I love the vibe. It's I cool it out good, here. I can take it to the good hey, spots. Hey, they, they don't mess around with the food out here, like, they're, they're, they're not skimping that. They give you the full things, because we had to tear up some crawfish today, too. Gator, taste of gator for the first time. Fire. Yeah, it was Gumbo, good. too. Was Gumbo. Still on our hands, checking it, but. Crawfish, nah. Gumbo. Oh, you didn't try, you tried alligator. Yeah, we did try I, hope, I wish you would have tried boudin balls. We'll try it next time, man. It's, there, there, there's too much stuff. Well, to they sell it at the stores. Yeah. So I'll just give you some boudin balls. You can fly back home with it. <laughs> it's cold yeah. enough in the plane. You can be solid. Yeah, I agree. But no, nah, I had a good time. There's too much stuff to talk to, but it's about that time to log off because we already got the footage from the crazy weekend, whatever we did, the fun time we had. So I'll throw you it You get tired, you just drink no Modelo. You'll be yeah. fine. So, shoot. Cheers. A good weekend. Appreciate it. Hey. He's gonna be on several times more. He's probably gonna be one of your favorite special guests, funniest dude in the world, up and coming comedian too, DJ. Got his hands in a lot of things, but you know, I think. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we out today, episode four. It's a wrap. Go ahead, like, follow, subscribe. I don't know what you gotta do, but just do it. And we'll see you next week. Deuces. <laughs>